All right, guys, we're back for another edition TV Throwdown debut edition. We have two new debuting stars in Jacob E. West and Michael Turner. Uh, joining me as always, either Joe or Malcolm. We have Joe. Hi, I'm here. How are we doing, Joe? Uh, I've been better. Uh, I'm not joking. My father passed away yesterday. So, but besides that, uh, I'm just I'm excited to you know be able to take my mind off of some real world things and just enjoy a, a good uh, TV TV throwdown match. Well, hopefully we can take your mind off of that. And we do have uh, two known commodities, I guess, from uh, fan league play with Jacob E. West and Michael Turner. Uh, who do you see maybe having an advantage here in this? Um, so I've, I've seen, I've seen both of them in, in, in around and they both are knowledgeable in what they do with movies and stuff. But with TV, it really depends on if you wanted to take the time to study your opponent's shows and the shows you picked yourself. And it's really a lot of strategy goes into what you're picking and what you have to like do rewatches for. And with the shows they picked, I think it really is going to come down to who wanted to do rewatches of their own shows and who mm -hmm. wanted to study the other shows to kind of get that edge up. So you're saying there is strategy that goes in TV? Yes, I am. Okay, I, I just wanted to clear that for the record. I know there's some thoughts prevailing out there on by some people. Uh, but let's go to our competitors and hear what they have to say right now. What is up, everybody? It's your 38th favorite dad in the family community, Papa West, Jacob West, here. And I'm not hosting anything. I'm competing. Um, in this, and last time y'all saw me here in multiplex, uh, I was kind of doing that cocky, arrogant thing. And then someone who's on this call called me mini coho, uh, which is the worst thing you can ever do to anybody. Uh, so I just realized there, hey, I have this leaf. I need to turn it over. And I just need to be chill out Papa West again. So let's have fun. Let's answer, ask questions. Let's answer those questions. And don't be like coho. What's up, guys? Uh, you've maybe seen me in a couple of other spots around uh, in movies and in wrestling trivia. Uh, movies haven't gone my way. Wrestling's been a little bit better, but you know we're here for Homer Simpson to enjoy the warm, glowing, glowing warmth of TV this time. So we'll see how this turns out. Uh, be honest with you, don't know how this is going to go, but willing to give it a shot. Let's see what we got. All right. These guys seem raring to go, Joe. They both seem confident enough. Uh, I don't know who called Jacob Coho Jr. I really don't. <laughs> I don't know either, but I want to give that man a cookie for uh, for officially saying that being called Caleb Coho is an insult. Well, I mean, he's insulting Macaulay Culkin's memory of Home Alone right now with his current hairdo, but, you know, that that's life. So let's bring in our competitors first. Making his introduction, you know him as Papa West, Jacob B. E. West. How are we doing, Jacob? Doing good. And, and Tim, uh, I'm glad you don't remember it because you were the person who called me. Oh, Coho. <laughs> I yeah, I uh, yeah, I've done a lot of things. I don't remember too much. Any it's okay. Of it's okay. I want to purge that out of my head, but I can't either. So I apologize for that. At, okay. le at, at least now you don't have to worry about that because. Well, you've seen his appearance now. But let's introduce his opponent. Also debuting, he is one Michael Turner. Michael, how are you tonight? Uh, it's been a hell of a day, gentlemen. The girlfriend uh, lost her keys. I lost my wallet. Uh, things haven't been great, but we're hoping that I haven't lost my brain at least. Well, let's hope to as we go into this. This is a three-round matchup, guys. We'll explain the rules for each round as we go in. Uh, we'll go into the rules for round number one to – Get us kicked into it. Rules for round number one are simple. There are eight shows. Uh, all six of your predetermined shows are on there, plus two extras. These are one-point questions. We we ask the questions. You write them down on your whiteboard, pen, and paper, as long as you have something to write with. After 15 seconds, you will show what you have written, as well as pronunciate it when called upon. Pronunciation is the key to getting a correct point. I mean, we've taken misspellings before, RJ with Clegon, what have you. So, just remember that, guys. And there's no steal in this round, so uh, we don't have that in here. And there's no penalty for any wrong answer. So, if you don't get the right answer, you don't have the right answer. We don't. There's no 
deduction for that. And for throughout the match, you have your three repeats and your one challenge rule. So remember that, guys. Use them wisely. Uh, like I said, once the challenge rule is gone, if you use it and don't have it, then it's gone. But, you know. So with that, are you guys ready? <laughs> All right, Joe, I will let you take the odds. I'll take the evens. All right, guys, your first question comes from How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother ran for how many seasons? And somewhere Michael or somewhere Malcolm is gleefully, joyfully enjoying this question. Probably while sitting on the couch watching it again. One of the few questions he can get right. Four, three, two, one. That's ouch. Pens down. Let's go to Michael. Uh, the correct answer is about four too long. I said nine. Uh, can you, yeah, hold your yep. whiteboard up. Yep, nine. That is correct. And Jacob. Uh, Brooklyn, I expect my sandwich. I, uh, I said eight. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, just email him your sandwich preference. I'm sure he's behind after all these matches. He owes uh, me like six at least. So. Yeah, I, I think he owes me about five. <laughs> and I'm so. on the low end. <laughs> all right, let's go into the next show. Next question, Ink Master. What magazine is the winner of Ink Master featured in? I don't understand how anyone could like tattoos. Wow, shameless plug there, Joe. Shameless. Five, four, keep the shirt on. Three, two, <laughs> one. Heads <laughs> down. Let's avoid that answer. Joe or Jacob, let's go with you first. Uh, that would be Inked Magazine. Correct. And Michael. Don't have it. It's a tattoo you. Oh, that'd be an interesting choice. All, All right. right. One more. Mm -hmm. Your next question is from Glee. Glee ran on what network? A favorite show. Another favorite show of Malcolm. It's seems like he's it's it's like Malcolm secretly playing in this match. Five, four. Why didn't Malcolm write this match? Two, one. No, he didn't write this match. Uh, pens down. Let's go to Michael. Assume Fox viewing positions. That is correct. And Jacob. I also said Fox. Both of them hitting again, tying it up, keeping it tied. All right, your next question comes for your fourth question comes in Space Force. Space Force. What acting talent plays General Mark uh, Narid in Space Force? Would you ever join Space Force? Um, if Space Force was like out there exploring the stars, sure, but it's not doing that now. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Jacob. Steve Carell. Correct. And Michael. Steve Carell. Both of them keeping tied. Nice. Uh, right. <clears throat> Your fifth question comes in Brooklyn Nine Nine. What is the name of Milton and Gina's daughter? I used to work in Brooklyn. The cops oh. were not like this at all. Oh, they they weren't funny and hysterical in one of them, Terry Crews. <laughs> no, Five, they weren't. Very disappointed. Four, three, two, one. If you want to make a show better, at Terry Crews. Pens down. Let's go to Jacob. I think I'm confusing it with another uh, another child. Harmonica? That is incorrect. Michael? I didn't have it either. I guess Penelope. Joe, what is that answer? It is Enigma. Yes. Harmonica is the kid in Superstore. Hmm. All right, guys. Your next question comes in Family Guy. What is the name of Stewie's teddy bear? Do you have a teddy bear, Joe? No, I don't. I had stuffed Barney the dinosaur, so I couldn't name it anything. It had a name when I got it. Did you play in world domination with Barney the dinosaur like Stewie did his teddy bear? My lawyer has advised me not to answer those questions. Good choice. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Michael. Rupert, you cheeky bastard. That is spot on and good. My God, Jacob. 
That that was spot on, uh, but I didn't get it. I said Mr. Pickles. That's a Satan worshiping dog. <laughs> it's a name of a dog and a lot of stuff. So, Michael taking the point lead there. Joe, what's our penultimate question? Your penultimate question comes in Game of Thrones. How did Joffrey meet his fate in the series? This was one of the shows I got onto. I'd say probably after it premiered, and I I loved it. I got onto it like after the hype, and I was happy that it lived up to the hype when I got into it. Yeah, exactly. It's it's one of those shows that will stand the test of time. Pens down. Let's go to Jacob. He was poisoned. That is correct. And Michael. Poison. Both of them score in there. All right, gentlemen, your last question comes in The Expanse. The Expanse aired in what year? Sci-fi taste, but I, I love it. <laughs> we'll go five, I've never five, seen The Expanse. Four. It's three, two, one. It's more of one of those grittier, darker space shows, but it's pretty good. Pens down. Let's go to Jacob first. I haven't heard of it, Joe. So 2008. Ooh, that is incorrect. And Michael. 2015. That is correct. Wow. Michael taking a two point lead there at the end of round number one. Joe, what's our score right now? I believe. What do you have? I'm sorry. <laughs> I honestly, like, when I'm looking at my math, and my math is definitely off. It's all right. Uh, we're at six to four. Michael ahead by two points. That's what I have. I have. I have Michael only missing. Yeah, I have Michael only missing the second question and then the uh, daughter question. Yep. All right, guys. As we go into round number two, still a very close game. We still got two rounds to play. How this works? Round two, we bring up our wheel, and our or our players will spin said wheel via me clicking a button in our predetermined wheel. We have all six of our strength shows and players and opponents choice on there. How that works is whoever spins first uh, will spin said wheel. If they don't like the first choice, they can't spin again. Whatever they land on their second choice, they must keep. Each show has four questions worth two points apiece. Can't opt out on multiple choice. And there is stealing in this round, gentlemen. You both still have your repeats and your challenges. Are you raring to go? All right, both raring to go. Let me bring up said primed wheel per the Jim Green rule because he was so bitch if we didn't. Uh, tonight's shows, as you can see, How I Met Your Mother, Ink Master, Glee, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Family Guy, Game of Thrones, and, of course, Players and Opponents' Choice. Primed wheel ready. Michael, you are in the lead. You can choose to go first or defer. I'll go first. All right, Michael going first. Your first spin is away. Lands on How I Met Your Mother. I'll take it. All right, so you want to take it. I'll go ahead and proc your questions for this one. All right, and How I Met Your Mother, your first question. In what year does future Ted sit his kids down and tell them the story of How I Met Your Mother? And please make sure your hands are visible on screen, sir. Yes. Multiple choice. What was that? Multiple choice. Okay, your multiple choice options are A, 2020, B, 2030, C, 2040, or D, 2050. 2030. Correct for a point. All right, your second question. In the episode, How I Met Everyone Else, Barney explains to Ted that there are only, or let me reread that. In the episode, How I Met Everyone Else, Barney explains to Ted that the only hot girls online are crazy, hookers, or what? Multiple choice again. I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. 
All right, your options are A, dudes, B, killers, C, cops, or D, illegals. You would be correct for points. All right, your third question. What famed TV dad played in Space Teens, a Canadian kids show starring Robin Sparkles and Jessica Glitter? Uh, real life father of uh, Robin Thick, Alan Thick. Two big points. All right, one question away from clearing the category. In season two, Barney has who stay in his apartment to help get rid of his one night flings. Lily. Correct for two big points there. Wow, it's a pretty good showing, I would say, Joe, clearing out the category. Yep. Having to maneuver around with uh, going to multiple choice a couple times, but still getting six points out of that is, is very good. Oh, yeah. All right, but it's not over yet as we go back to the wheel because it is Jacob's turn. Jacob, are you ready? Let's do it. All right, spin the wheel. Lands on Family Guy. Go ahead and uh, spin it again, please. All right, I'll spin one more time. Opponent's choice. Michael, you can choose the fate. Our shows again are the remaining ones are Ink Master. Glee, Brooklyn Nine Nine, Family Guy, and Game of Thrones. Glee. Glee. All right, Joe. Go ahead and proctor those questions for Jacob and Glee. All right. Your first question: What is the name of the high school Glee club in the series? Uh, multiple choice, please. Your own multiple choice options are A, New Dimensions, B, New Destinations, C, New Directions, or D, New Direction. Can I hear C and D one more time? C is New Directions, D is New Direction. That, that's clever. Uh, I'm going to go with D then. Going over to Michael for the one-point steal. Let's see. You're that is correct for a one-point seal. Yep. What is the name of the club director and Spanish teacher? Go ahead and give me a multiple choice on that, please. Your multiple choice options are A, Will Schuster, B, Sue Sylvester, C, Emma Pillsbury, D, Amber Riley. A. That is correct for one point. Your penultimate question. How many seasons did Glee run for? Uh, multiple choice. A, five, B, six, C, seven, D, eight. Six. That is correct. Your final question. What event was the cause of Artie being in a wheelchair? A car accident. That is correct for two big points. Wow. Getting himself closer there, bringing it. Total score of 14 to 10. We have a four-point game, guys, going forward. Still close. Anything can happen as we go into round number three. And how round number three works, guys, is we bring back up our wheel. How it works this time, the person behind will go first, which in this – since is Jacob, he will spin said wheel. It's just going to be all six strength shows. There's no player or opponent's choice on this. Um, he will spin. If he doesn't like his first choice, he can spin again. But whatever choice it lands on, he's stuck with. And for that, he can choose either four one-point questions, four two-point questions, or four three-point questions. And you have to take a point value that gets you either tied or retaking the lead. So you're down by four, so you can still play with all of those options. Are you guys clear how the rules work here? All right, let's bring back up our primed wheel here. All right, Jacob, your first spin is away for round number three.
Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to go with the uh, two point questions. All right, I'll go ahead and proctor the two point questions before that. Let me get over to them. Okay, your first question in Brooklyn Nine Nine. What actress plays Rosa Diaz in the series? Stephanie Beatrice. Two points, kicking it off. Who was the former captain of the 99th before Holt? I'm not going to pull it. I, I can't think of his name. All right. His name, Captain McGintley. Captain McGintley was the previous predecessor of Holt. All right. Um, what was the name of Jake's favorite pizza place that burns down in season one? Tony's Pizza. Incorrect. We're looking for Sal's Pizza. Sal's Pizza. All right. You're still two points behind, so you have to hit this last question just to tie it up to put the pressure on Michael. What is the full name of the father of Gina's daughter? Let's go five, four. Repeat. All right, first repeat. What is the full name of the father of Gina's daughter? The father of Gina's daughter. It's bad because you said it in the first first round, but I can't think of his name. Go five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Second one, what is the name of the father of Gina's daughter, the full name? And by that, we mean first and last. We don't need his middle name. <laughs> well, they never say his middle name. Yeah, are, so. I just didn't know if he was character. racking his brain for a middle <laughs> name that we didn't need. No, he, no character is ever important enough to be given a middle name anymore. I'm going to go five. For William Johnson. And your winner. By way of TKO, he is Michael Turner. The answer, Milton Boyle. Milton Boyle. Joe, impressive match there by both of these guys. How do you... How do you feel it went with both of them as you've been in this chair before of debuting yourself? Uh, both of them actually did very well. I've been on uh, Jacob's side before too where you get TKO'd in your deb debuting match because you just – you, you, you it lands on a strength show, but you just don't seem to be able to pull the knowledge out. It happens. Sometimes you just – you can't pull the answers out. It happens to everyone. But it was a solid showing from both of them. Yes, and I – you know, with the tournament coming up, I'm sure we'll see both of these guys in it within some capacity here, whether a play-in or a guaranteed spot. But both of them did very well, in my opinion. And let's go hear what they have to say right now. All right, guys, we are back with our winner today, Michael Turner. Michael, how does it feel to come in and get your first win in TV? And I think in a, in a good, strong fashion, the wheel going in your favor there, a lot of it. That that was that was the big part of it. Um, is the wheel definitely uh, showed me a little uh, beginner's luck <laughs> today. <laughs> I was able to pull one of my strengths for my spin, and for you know, Jacob was unlucky enough to get uh, opponents. So I threw him one of my strengths as well. So uh, he he pulled some of them. So that was great. But yeah, it definitely definitely went in my favor. I feel great. Uh, you know, it's always better to be one to know than no one won. And so, yeah. 
Yep. And with the tournament coming up, this does give you a good position to get a top play in spot or even a top spot. I'd have to look through the rankings once we get it all done. But, uh, I mean, how are you feeling now having a good position to go in there and really actually play for a title now after our title match with uh, Jacoby and Alec? This is, what, this is why we do this, right? I mean, no one wants to not be a champion. So. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm in as a win it man i'm here for whatever you give me and want to know let's go baby all right and with that let's kick it over to our unfortunate loser in this one jacob all right we are back jacob wheel in round two and three it it seemed to go your way in three with brooklyn nine nine but the questions just you just couldn't pull it but I, I, how do you how do you think it went for you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, when you when you spin opponent's choice, uh, it's always going to be it's always going to be a rough day. And and when the first question, literally the the two options are new direction and new directions, and that's the only difference between the two. And you pull the wrong letter, and he steals the right letter, mm-hmm. and so that's the two points right there. I would have tied him if it wasn't for that. So I can say, hey, that that was a bullcrap question. But you know what? I had fun. This this was fun. Um, I hope this isn't my only time here. Uh, I do hope you have me back. Oh, I definitely plan on it. I mean, you had a good performance, so I know we'll see you within one of those play-in matches to get into that tournament. So I know we'll see you back, Jacob. Uh, so with that, let's throw it back up to Joe. We'll kick it out of here. And Joe can have the final words. That was an amazing match. We saw two strong debuting players who I'm excited to see what happens to them in their careers going forward and with the tournament of power coming up. But Tim has said everything else I can possibly say about this match. So from myself, from Tim, from Michael, from Jacob, this has been TV Throwdown. And remember, don't change the channel.